Welcome back guys, it's snowing outside, it's 2 in the morning, my kittens are sleeping, it's the perfect time to make a video and give you guys some answers. And in today's video, the Evelista says, I have two questions, and we're going to focus on number one. But first off, thanks so much for uh, using the tutorial to create your blog. I checked it out, you guys should too. It's really rewarding to play any small part in a blog that looks like it could someday become something big. And congrats on those compliments, by the way. Great job. So the first question, which we're going to ask, uh, answer, is how do I create a landing page so that people are prompted to sign up for the mailing list? It's a great question, and I'm not sure what your guys' knowledge of landing pages is. So I'll just uh, offer my general ideas, um, and then we'll actually create a page. Landing page is a term that's been overly monetized, first of all. At the end of the day, it's just a page that gets people to do something. Um, for example, this community page on my blog to your blogger has gotten hundreds and hundreds of email signups just by offering a free ebook and using some basic text that I wrote in WordPress. Um, I'm not sure if it's the text, I'm not sure if it's the bullet points, I'm not sure if it's the purple form or the goofy blue ebook that did it but you have to find whatever works for you and that's a big takeaway here whatever works for you on your landing pages you need to repeat and you need to find it if you need to ask people that's fine um, but it doesn't need to be a special page you don't need to buy lead pages or something I know amazing bloggers like Pat Flynn recommend them but it's really the person that gets the signups it's not so much the page even though the pages look good it's really just the fact that People like Pat are amazing people, which leads to those email signups. Um, all right, so that said, let's go ahead and create a page. So you're using MailChimp. I found this cool little landing page feature on MailChimp, so you could definitely go ahead and use that. I'm just not sure how it'll copy paste as a whole page into a WordPress page. So we're gonna use just an email form that we set up right here. This one is free. I got to it by going to lists and then clicking sign up forms after doing their annoying little verification process like a hundred times. And so yeah, let's set up a page. So we're just going to go to the blog here from the tutorial and hover on new and click page. The first thing you might want a landing page to be is full width. That also makes it a squeeze page because then the outside parts of the page are squeezed inwards and people's focus is squeezed towards the middle of the page. All right, so let's give it a title. So we can call this one um, community, or you know, are you frustrated with late night hunger or something? I think I shared my stomach growl. And then you can go on to write some text. So the first thing you want to state is a problem because why are people on the page? Because they have a problem. They're like, are you upset that you have an empty fridge? Do you fall asleep with pizza on top of you? You know, you just gotta set up a problem so people know that you're gonna um, give them a solution. So I like to start with a few things that people might need, or you could also include some stats like 78% of humans overeat late at night when there is a lack of food in the fridge. It's kind of counterintuitive and also not true. Do you want to know the solution? All right, so once you state your problem and you aggravate your problem a little bit on the landing page, and this is just the most random example ever, but it also might apply to me, you want to actually set up a solution. So. What are people going to get on your page? And what are they going to get through your newsletter? I'm just going to put that there. So then we'll write our newsletter offers a 10 step three week guide to cutting back on that late night eating slash snacking. Sorry for all the typing. So this is the solution. All right, so you have your problem. You've made the problem worse, and we're going to insert a graph that shows that we're legit and there's actually a problem here um, in society or something. And then we're going to have the solution, which is our newsletter offers this. Then the next step, so we have sort of three steps, problem, aggravate, solution, is some proof. 
So I like doing that through testimonials, all right? So let's save this page as a draft. And now let's click Plugins, Add New. I'm gonna show you how to create a testimonial for this page, just like you might see on another Lightning page. Look up Strong Testimonials. Hit enter, install the one with the purple quotes, activate. All right, so this is a really amazing plugin, works great with all versions of WordPress and all other plugins. I read this, you don't have to. Um, what we need to do is just click under testimonials, click add new. And then you're just gonna create some testimonials from your friends or your colleagues, people that reviewed your stuff. You could say like, John Appleseed said, after joining, uh, we can use Evelista here, Evelista newsletter and following. She presented, and this is just an example. I have no idea if late night pizza applies to Evelista, and it probably doesn't. Um, okay, so we can go on to say, I highly recommend you sign up for the email list. The updates are infrequent and valuable to my. So you want people to say good things and a lot of good things in a little bit of writing. All right, now we're just gonna give this a category saying email course, which is where the review came in from after this hypothetical person took the course. Then you need a featured image, so just set featured image. And we can give this person a picture and set featured image and publish. All right, and the testimonial won't go anywhere on your site yet. Let's add one more. And let's make this one by Jane Doe. To insert these testimonials on a page, just click on Views. Now click Add New. We're going to select Slideshow, although you could just select Display to show the testimonials just in a line or vertically in the sidebar. We're going to call this one Landing Page. Now just scroll down, leave the settings as they are, and I really like clicking Modern going to center our testimonials and then we're just going to click save changes. All right, so now you just need to click on the short code here and copy it. Just copy that short code, come back to pages and let's put that in our landing page that we're building. So here we go. Make sure you're in the text tab because we're pasting in some code and voila. Now we can pad those testimonials with some more text. All right, so this is obviously way worse than what you can think up and what all you guys can think up, but um, you know we're just going kind of quickly here. So you can uh, get creating. All right, so at this point we have the problem that we are gonna address. We've made the problem seem worse. We're gonna insert a graph. We have, uh, we have the solution here, and then we have some proof. And lastly, we just need a call to action. So our call to action is gonna be what we want people to do on this page. That's an often overlooked point. Um, if your page doesn't have a call to action, people might not know what to do. Your page might be great, but it might not be getting you results, and then it might not look like a good page to you, even if it is a good page. So the call to action is just to sign up to the email list to give people that option. We just need to copy paste this form onto the site. So here we go. Nope, that was the wrong thing to do probably do that one in every hundred times. Copy and paste. All right, with that done, you can just give people some additional links and reading, or you can make the page super long and scrolling and include even more testimonials and graphs and charts like a lot of salespeople do. I find myself sometimes scrolling and it's just kind of fun because I'm procrastinating and bored and you can just keep reading random stuff. So let people scroll if you'd like. It looks good to have a lot of information. All right, with our landing page almost done, we just need a graph to show that we have some data behind what we're doing here. So we can easily just look up a graph. Okay, so here we are getting this random graph from Google Images and Wikipedia. Save it, back to the page, add media, upload files, select files. And this is probably gonna look like really terrible, but at least we didn't pay for it. All right, now let's publish it and view page. And we're just
you look at that, we just created a landing page. And even though it's terrible, you know, it's still a landing page. And maybe it is beautiful in a way. All right guys, so that was how to create a landing page in WordPress and how to set up a landing page for free on your website. We did it using um, just some simple text stating a problem. Then we showed that we're legit with a graph and have some data. Then we offer a solution, which is our newsletter and some social proof here through our testimonial widget, which should be scrolling if we give it a second. And then we have our call to action, which people are clearly supposed to do right here using MailChimp. People can sign up to your newsletter now with their email address right here when they click subscribe and some further reading. All you need to do to make this page go live is just add it to your menu and then promote it, promote it, promote it in guest posts, in other newsletters, in just places you are in the web so people can actually get here and land on it. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching because I really enjoyed making that for you guys. Thanks so much to the Evalista for asking the question that inspired this tutorial. Please make sure to subscribe so that you get the answer to your question if you're featured here and so that you get all the latest in WordPress how-to and tips. I'm going to go run around in the snow now. I'll see you guys next time.